Hey guys, Heather Lennon here, creator of the Yummy Mummy Revolution. And today, I'm gonna share with you the number one way to lose weight. My desire is to change the world one yummy mummy at a time. And being a yummy mummy means something different for everyone. Even though I don't know what it would take for you personally to become a yummy mummy unless I actually talk and connect with you, I do know that what I'm about to share will resonate with each and every one of you in its own special way. As most of you know, I help people improve their lives through fitness and nutrition. It's what I do. So what I'm about to tell you might be a bit of a shocker. The number one way to lose weight is not through fitness and nutrition, although they are very important to your overall well-being, but the number one way to lose weight is through loving yourself first. Sounds too easy, I know. But if you were to love yourself exactly as you are in this very moment, I mean really, truly love yourself just as you are, weight would never be an issue for you. Think about the last time you ate something you knew you shouldn't have. Was it during a time where you were loving your life and having a great old time? Or was it when something triggered you and you didn't feel good about yourself or at your best? If you honestly love and accept yourself as you are, you won't have these cravings and desires. It's just not possible. Now the question becomes, do you love yourself enough to do the work? I hope for you the answer is yes. And in that case, I'm here to help. If you answered no, then that's fine. This isn't the time for you to do this work. And when you're ready, you'll know. And you can come back to this at any time. For those of you that answered yes, let's get this party started. All right, for this exercise, you'll need a pen and paper. So go grab that now and pause the video. I'll wait. Okay, here we go. Take some nice deep breaths and let this be easy and gentle. I want you to write down the top five I should in your, right, in your life right now. For example, I should eat better or I should get a better job. Go ahead, take as long as you need. Press the pause button now and write them down. I'll wait. Now after each one, ask yourself why. Why should you do that? For example, why should I eat better? Maybe I feel sick and tired and I'm unable to run around with my kids or why should I get a better job? Maybe my partner is wanting me to get a better job so I can make more money. Go ahead, do that now. I'll wait. You're doing a great job so far. Now this might be easy for you to do or you might find this to be really hard and you might actually be getting a little pissed off at me right now, which is good. Either one is okay, so let's carry on. Now write down your top five list again, but this time say, if I really wanted to, I could, and then ask yourself, why haven't I? In the case of my examples, it would be, if I really wanted to eat healthy, I could, and I haven't because it's so overwhelming and I don't know where to start. Now I can see that if I find someone that is an expert in eating healthy, they can break it down and make it easy for me. If I really wanted to, I could get a better job. But I don't love my job, and I don't want to find a better job. And this helps me to see that it's my partner that's unhappy with my job, not me. So we need to have a little sit down, talk about the issues that they have with my job. Okay, pause and go do that now. You did it! Way to go! Now you can look at your top five list and either take action on these things that you realize are really important to you or cross them off your list completely because they were never important at all. Or maybe they were what someone else wanted you to do. This is an important step in loving yourself because although we only did our top five shoulda, I'm willing to bet we all have a pretty long list of shoulds. We are always shooting all over ourselves. Shooting is always negative, and when we don't act on these, they hang over us and we feel like a failure, loser, disappointment, not good enough. The list goes on and on. And this creates our inner voice, or how we talk to ourselves. What we think about ourselves becomes the truth about us. What we think of, what we believe, and how we speak to ourselves and others creates our experiences. So eliminate the shoulds and start loving yourself today. So there you have it. The number one way to lose weight is to love yourself. Is that simple <laughs> and complicated all at the same time? Today, I showed you one way to start loving yourself by not shooting all over yourself. 
So feel free to take this tool and use it often. What have you got to lose? And remember, what we think about ourselves becomes the truth about us. Thanks for watching, guys. If you like this video, then like it and share it with all your friends on Facebook. And be sure to go to our website and sign up for our newsletter so you don't miss out on any of these life-changing videos. <laughs> You're trying to make me laugh. Oh, you did it. Peace.